Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ravi and today we are going to see very interesting topic related to ServiceNow as well as ChatGPT. So as you have seen ChatGPT was introduced in the market in the year 2022 November. So from that time people are utilizing this ChatGPT in wider range. It's an open source of an AI. If I talk about AI, what is AI? Basically, this particular software will mimic human characters. It's like whatever I speak and whatever I type, this particular chat GPT will convert that into a real world scenarios. So let's discuss this with service now, how we will use this in service now. So today we are going to see how we can build a beautiful cover letter for our service now experience resumes or CVs or how we can see CS exam question getting solved by chat GPT. Even we will see few lines of a code which is written by chat GPT. So let's get started. First, what we have to do is just type on the Google chat GPT, open the first source of AI introduction to chat GPT. If you open it, it will have this particular page. Now just you have to click on try chat GPT and you have to register first. So I have already registered. You can check. You just have to type the, your words over here. This video will be very interesting for you when you are seeking career in service now. This will really help you a lot. This video is very much different from the rest of the videos which I am bringing on my platform. So if you are new to this particular platform, please do like, share and subscribe. And if you have not seen the other bit playlist of mine where I have been discussing about service now from zero to advance, even service now scripting scenarios so you can check the videos link in the description even i will put the video link in the i button so let's get started with chat gpt and service now so first what i'm going to type here is hi to the ai in return what he is telling me so it's very interesting to see so it will take few seconds hello how can i assist you today so this ai is trained in such a way that Whatever the data, previous history of data through neural languages, through machine languages, it will get it and display in front of your screen. So it is trained in such a way that you have everything in place. You just have to type the proper content. For example, the first thing I will do with ServiceNow is show me the cover letter or you can write, write the cover letter of 300 words, for example, in ServiceNow, admin and development. Okay. If I press the enter key, this will write me a cover letter in 300 words in front of my screen. I just have to copy and paste to my resume to the cover letter. You can notice everything is being typed by chat GPT right away in front of your screen. Even, let me show you once it's completed writing it. So you can see it's keep on typing in 300 words. You can mention 100 words, 200 words. That specific word, it will pick up and it, it will use it. You can see here over this particular cover letter, he has mentioned ServiceNow Admin and Development with four years experience. He just added four years experience and you can notice here in ServiceNow Admin, ServiceNow Service Catalogs, Change Management, Incident Management, Release Management, everything they have added it in front of your skin. Even you will notice what, whatever the steps, whatever the things which we are doing in ServiceNow, like creation of UI pages, script include, custom UI actions, all are included over here. So this you can include in your resume right away. And every time if you click on regenerate response, it will rephrase the word. You can see it is rephrasing the word every time. So every time you will be getting the new content, new content of your cover letter. So it will never go to duplicate. So I'll stop generating it. Now let's dig deep into it. So just type here, write me the code to print hello world in service now. You can see it will use the ServiceNow concept over here that use JavaScript family and it will show you the description about it. So few days back, I have created a scenario on my YouTube channel. You can go back and check it and I will use the same scenario. I will ask this particular chat GPT to use that scenario 
and let me know. So I am regenerating the response. Okay, stop generating the response. This was my scenario. I'll copy it and I'll paste the scenario over here. And I'll press the enter key. You will notice it will write me the code also. Just see. You can see right away. It's writing me the right mean me the code. This code is in front of you. It's right away writing me the code. So it is saving a lot of time for developers, admin, or those who are seeking for the job. So this was a scenario. Like if I have a custom table and I have a field manager field on the manager table and I want to auto populate that manager field, this is a code which chat GPT has given it to me. Even they have provided the steps also over here. Now I have one CSA questions dumps with me. You can see uh, this dumps. I will be sharing with you in the going forward classes. When I complete that, I mean, I will show you the dumps. Now I'll copy this. And I'll ask chat GPT what is the correct answer. Okay. So it is keep on providing you all the information regarding all the topics. But here chat GPT fails to provide me the correct answers. So let me try with the next for example. Okay, let me copy this. Yeah. Okay, it's just defining it. So somewhere chat GPT will fail to provide you the exact answer of your CSE exam question. But now you can notice the correct option is data pill runtime. And it has explained all the concept of data pill and it has given me the correct answer. Data pill. You can see in my screen also it is highlighted in yellow. It is highlighted in green, sorry. So it is available over here. Now let me take one more example. For example, this one. Copy. I am pasting it. Okay, it is defining the relationship first. And let me see what is the correct answer. He is displaying me. So option D makes C, C I easier. So this is the correct answer. It's perfectly correct. So with the help of chat GPT with service now you can even ask GPT to give you the correct answer for your CSA exam questions. Now if I ask chat GPT to print me two numbers. So add two number and print me. Print the result. Come down. See, it's defining two numbers and adding two numbers together and printing me the result. So in whatever the language you want, you can ask chat GPT and it will tell you. So in service now, let me ask one scenario. For example, write a code to print all users with empty non-empty email id okay now see it is writing a code in front of you and i am going to run this code right away on my service now instance whether it is helpful or it is not we'll get to know so let's copy this you have this option called copy code let me go back to developer.servicenow.com page or I, if I have the instance up, I will already use that instance name called dev86573 and let me go to background script. Okay, run running the script. Now it is giving me all the users. You can see survey users. Uh, Jimmy, all those users which are present in my service now instance is play me everything over here. So this code also works. So chat GPT is the best place where you can script your code, you can learn your code, you can type anything and it will give you the answer. 
now one last question i will ask her about service now how to learn service now what answer it's giving me you can see learning service now is a rewarding and valuable experience so you should know the platform you should hire someone you should get trained you should know the admin you should get the certifications all those information service now will give you in the so chat gpt will give you about service now even you can ask him who made you for example who invented you and is still thinking who invented chat gpt it get confused and now it is keep on typing i was created by a team of engineers and research at open ai and artificial intelligence laboratory and explain about himself so the first version was developed in 2015 and this version which is currently seeing in front of your skins developed in the year 2022 november so yes this is the place if you have any question put it there and you will get your result right away so in future in upcoming days i will integrate this service now with chat gpt together so i will integrate with, with virtual agent if somebody will ask something i will help them so this part will be covering in the upcoming topics of integrations when we read about it that's all for today thanks for watching this video if you find it very interesting please do share subscribe and like this video Thanks for watching.